Happy holidays! You're listening to Que Dijo, the unapologetically queer Latino podcast where no topic is off limits. I'm your ho, 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 Eric. Last week, Raul, Mikey, and I discussed a variety of gay topics and we posted a clip on TikTok about bottom shaming and people had a lot to say in the comments. So this week, we decided to link up again and read through some of these comments and continue our conversation on bottom shaming. Stay tuned. Hey, dude! I'm so tired from today. <laughs> You're tired? Yes, yeah, so I had to put on some glasses and this um, weave and say hi. <laughs> I thought we were gonna make a little simple video, but there's no there's there's no there's no such thing as modesty with you. It's all it's all or nothing. It's all out or nothing. <laughs> Baby, we bougie over here. Mm. Tell the people what are you wearing? So I was trying to go for like um uh. A Russian hooker. Okay. Am I allowed to say that? We're going to get canceled. You can say whatever the fuck you want. It's your okay. podcast. Um, I was trying to go for Russian this hooker. This is the unapologetically queer podcast where no topic is off limits. You better work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I was trying to uh, do like a Russian hooker slash Kim Kardashian. Oh, okay. At the Met Gala. Katya Zamolachikova. Um, prettier sister. Prettier sister. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you were wearing a wig. Didn't say you were wearing a wig. No, I didn't. Uh, I'm not wearing a wig. This is my real hair, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, there you what go. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I just sprouted in the words of Tiffany Pollard. I don't know how a human could sprout plastic hair. And they can. <laughs> I didn't know a human can sprout plastic hair. And they can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I told you this was like my little Russian hooker slash Kim Kardashian look. Work because I'm cold, <laughs> Alaska. This is my hair, it's yeah, not a wig, it's exactly. Um, how you been, babe? What you been up to? Um, I've been up to um, nothing, great, <laughs> doing nothing, great. I love it. The holidays are coming up, so we're slowly decorating the house. Oh, oh sorry, that's my camera. Sorry. Um, we're, we're decorating the house, yeah. I put up a little bit and of decorations we, for the set, but I was gonna say by we, I mean you. Yeah, just me. <laughs> yeah, you're decorating yeah, the house. I'm, I'm like redoing the whole house because we need a little cheer in this house. We need a little Christmas holiday spirit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but this, is this all you, you have planned for the set? Or are you gonna? It's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Okay. Um, I have to plan out what I'm gonna do, mm -hmm. and then from there, um, it's gonna be a holiday. Yes. Oh, and we're back in our home studio, by the way. Yes, we are back in the home studio. I, yes. I love the home studio. It's I know. amazing. <laughs> I feel like every time people watch our videos, they're like, they're in a different place every time. I know. They're like, we're so tired. <laughs> we want the pretty lighting, <laughs> not the ugly brown walls over yeah. at the studio. We travel with this podcast. We go to people's houses. We go to LA we, to meet up with our guests. So we're, we're on the move always. That's the thing though that I love about this podcast is that me and you are so considerate of people's time. Well, yeah, of course. If someone's going to give us their time, yeah. to, we're going to we're gonna go out there and, and, and not have them drive all the way over here. Yeah. And, and the, the, like you said, like the distance, I just want to make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. And I ask everybody, do you want to come or do you want us to go where we can work either way? So... Yeah, we're flexible. I love it. All my guests are so amazing. Yeah, Shout out to you guys. <laughs> Our podcast is very verse. Yes, it is very verse. I wish very it was verse. more bottom, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are your plans for Christmas? Um, Plans for Christmas. Um, I think we're going to, we're going to, well. Yeah. I think we're just going to keep it really chill for Christmas. Yeah, keep it really chill. I think we're just going to go visit your family. Mm -hmm. um, keep it a little small gathering, a little secret Santa, and then just go visit my family in L.A. A As a small gallery. Be. You know, when I was younger, like and when I was a teenager, all I wanted to do, I mean, nothing much has changed, but just a little bit. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to drink and fucking get fucked up every Christmas. Yeah. But now as I got older, I'm like, I just want to be with my family, eat yeah. some like food and just watch movies and pass out. Yeah. Just be surrounded by like Christmas lights and the Christmas decor yeah. and the warmth of family. And we've been doing like little Christmas activities with your sister because yeah. it's our little, it's... 
our little tradition we do every year to try to look at Christmas lights, look at Christmas lights and do yes. Christmas events, decorate the tree. We mm. go to Target and buy um, an ornament, a new ornament every year for the tree. Yes. So that's been fun. Um, we haven't done that yet, but I'm ex- looking forward to that. Um, yeah, just little traditions with family. Uh, that's yeah. what I enjoy. The little things. The little things in life. Yes. So last week, uh, we posted a clip on TikTok about bottom shaming. Uh huh. And the dolls had a lot of great things to say in the comments. They did. Uh, a lot of great things. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to get some negative comments. It was a mix. It was a mix. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was really refreshing to see the discourse that we sparked within the people and how the girls were going off. Yeah, I mean, that's what this podcast is for. We're here to piss off some people, um, you know, maybe say some ignorant things and get corrected. It's mm-hmm. a learning process. We're open to learning and having conversations. Yes, yes. So, um, Okay, so this week, we're going to call Mikey up and read through some of the comments and continue the conversation on bottom, shame, bottom shaming. Uh, but before we do, we're always going to play the clip from last week's episode so you guys know what we're referencing bottom shaming is a big problem within the gay community bottom shaming is huge in the gay community I, for I, sure I, I used to get bullied for it all the f- time and it's and again it all falls back to like <sighs> oh because you're the one taking the d- up your ass that's seen as feminine because you know women are the ones that are penetrated and so if you're the one being penetrated you're automatically seen as feminine you're seen as less than a man yeah and so that's why other gay men are bottom shaming other gay men because they think that oh yeah i'm because no i I don't get i don't take it up guys so they think that that makes them closer to straightness Wow, <laughs> that was a cute clip, right? Yes, <laughs> I look so cute always. Hello, duh. <laughs> um, now we're gonna call up Mikey and see what the hell he has to say from his car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mikey. Uh, he looked through some of the comments too, and he had some things to say. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna continue talking about bottom shaming. He already saw the comments. I haven't seen them because I want. Oh, that's right. I want you guys to see my raw. Oh, an unfiltered uh. hole. <laughs> no, I want you guys to see my raw and unfiltered. Um, um, what do you say? Um, my reaction. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my raw and unfiltered reaction. Oh, yeah, and I won't show you guys my hole because it's a little brown. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't put that in. Okay, so pull up the comments. Let's okay, do this. Pull, well, call, we gotta call Mikey first. Call Michelangelo and see what she's up to. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're calling her. She's um she's not gonna be on camera today, so Yeah, she's sorry, this is my moment, sweetie. Yeah, well let's so let's see if so excuse her audio quality. Um she's gonna be calling from her Android from phone. From her cricket phone. Her Android phone. <laughs> cricket wireless. Okay, so now we have Mikey on the line. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm, we're doing amazing. Eric's drunk already. <laughs> hey, I'm getting there. Okay. Living his best life. Yes, we're Living in our, his best life. Yeah, I know. We're in our home studio now, so Eric's, um, he's officially drinking. <laughs> wow. Well, it's wine because a bitch got to work tomorrow. <laughs> She's classy today with her Kim Kardashian blonde wig on. <laughs> I'm very, very responsible, too. Yes, very <laughs> responsible, unfortunately. Waking up early and dreading my life. <laughs> dreading work. That was a wrap. <laughs> well, while we're pulling this up, Mikey, how was your day? My husky gave us a surprise. Uh-huh. Um, she actually <gasps> gave birth to a puppy. Oh, oh wow. Um, and we didn't know the bitch was pregnant. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fucking whore. <laughs> Fucking whore. Exactly. <laughs> So they're and getting so, pounded and shit and you thought she was just eating too much? I guess, like, you know, she's just like me. <laughs> oh, there you go. They always say, like, like, uh, like, father, like, father, like, like, son. There you go. <laughs> like, father, like, daughter. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Are you ready to read the comments? I'm ready. Yes, I'm. Here is the first comment. And Miss Abibi Lomf. 
<laughs> if I'm mispronouncing this, I'm so f- sorry. I fucked up your username. Um, the first comment reads, bottoms are the foundation of our community. Why do I stuff if I can stuff them? <laughs> What? What? Why do I stuff if I can stuff them? What do you think that means? I think they meant, who do I stuff if I can't stuff them? Like, basically, they're saying that bottoms are the foundation of this community. Who do I stuff if I can't stuff them? Like, who who am I going to fuck? You don't get it, huh? No. (laughs) (laughs) Lucky, do you Uh, get it? Okay, so so are we saying this person is the top? Exactly, Uh, (laughs) yes. Okay. Oh, no, I mean, that makes sense. Like, I mean, wh- like, how can us tops, you know, what would we do if we didn't have any bottoms? Exactly. So we got to support our bottoms. That's what he's saying. Oh, I see. I love this person. <laughs> <laughs> All late. Look at Karen. <laughs> oh, okay. my gosh. I love my bottoms. And, you know, and Thanks. I always give more power to them because it's like they having to deal with a lot of shit yeah they do so much for us tops they douche they have to watch what they eat they they re- they're they're amazing <laughs> exactly so and it's like oh my god and then a lot of they have to do a lot of leg work too shit yeah seriously a lot of leg work a lot of writing eric yeah. but eric, i know eric like he doesn't mind a bottom joke though it's all about context i don't i just i just hate not being able to eat that's my problem <laughs> <laughs> but you could take a bottom joke though right yeah yeah yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a difference between like joking, but then also being a hurtful person, right. and that's why people need to understand the difference. Yeah. And so, but like I said, like you know, more power to people who take the dick. Yep. Whether mm-hmm. you're, you know, you're gay, you're, you know, a straight female, or you know, who whoever's taking dick, no matter what. Exactly. Like more straight power fem- to you guys. More power to you because without you guys, you know, we wouldn't. Yeah, you can't, you, you can't see me, but I'm just I'm, I'm crying right now. Right, exactly. Shout out and shout out to the straight females who are getting pounded by dick. Y'all, y'all, y'all are great too. Y'all, yeah, yes, yes, because they're they're taking more. You know, they're taking so many poundings, whether it's their and their vaginas, even to the back. Yeah, they have <laughs> they have so many holes, and they're taking it in all they of might them. Might be taking it in their nose too. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and they're so, here. Shit, we don't know. There we go. Exactly. All righty. So the next comment is the other side of this is being a feminine top and being erased and told you don't exist. Oh, girl. oh that's a good one. That's, I think, I mean, like if we're, I consider myself like a, a, a feminine top, like I have a feminine voice. Um, I know in the last episode, I didn't really want to use labels, but if I had to, I would, huh. say, I would say I'm like a feminine up. You know what's crazy is that people always had told me that they always thought you were the bottom because yeah. of your voice, which I think is so well, crazy. It's so stupid. <laughs> but, and I'm like a little more butchy and a little more feminine sometimes, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're the top, right?" Because yeah. you're more butch. I'm like, but I don't get, I don't get, I don't get like offended if someone calls me a bottom. Like, yeah, no, no. I think Raja is the one who says, "Oh, I'm a blouse, a feminine top." There we go. I love that. <laughs> but you know that's true. A lot of a lot of bottoms will bottom shame. The top for being feminine. Okay, so quick heads up. Our fucking memory card got corrupted. Therefore, the video for the rest of this episode is unavailable. So going forward, you guys will just hear audio. Sorry about that. Uh, We almost weren't going to post any video for this episode, but we figured something was better than nothing. But enjoy. Love you guys. Bye. But You know, that's true. A lot of of bottoms will bottom shame the top for being feminine. Mikey, what do you think? Well, Sorry. <laughs> I, well, no, I mean, I've been told, like, you know, just by the way I look and the way I talk, you know, people often, you know, automatically feel like I bought them. And, you know, and I have before, like, you know, like, no, like, I will, like, get very defensive. Mm-hmm. Like, no, like, I'm a top, like, you know, because to me, like, um, back then, like, I was thinking, like, oh, like, if you're a top, like, you're very, like, um, very dominant. You're, you know, you're the macho, more masculine, and everything. Uh-huh. But now I'm just like, you know, I don't give a fuck. Like, if you're gonna get, call me a bottom, with shit. Like I said before, like more power to people who do bottom and everything. Exactly. And so it's like that's what I give all the respect to them for because you know. So like I really don't care. If people assume that I'm a bottom, and like I was just I'm like no. Like I mean, again, I mean I have bottom before. Um, 
you know, I prefer to top. Yeah. And I mean, I would bottom, I guess. I guess I consider myself more of a verse top um, because, I you know, I love to top. But if I'm going to bottom, I'd rather do it with someone that I feel more comfortable with, yeah. whether, like, um, especially I'm in a relationship with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, because I haven't thought about it, too. There's been times where, like, with my exes and everything, and uh, I was like, damn, like, I really want to bottom for him. And mm-hmm. so it's like, again, like, I mean, I don't know why people think just because you're spam that automatically assumes you're a bottom. Right. But no, like, there's a lot of masculine men that bottom, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. That jock story it, you, you told know? me was crazy. I know. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, me topping a football player um, who said that, you know, he's on the down low. Yeah. And, you know, he's very, like, masculine in it. And um, so it's like anyone... Who, it's just the way how you feel. It just depends how you feel, like whether you prefer. Like yeah. if you prefer to bottom and bottom, if you prefer to top and top, like just don't make fun of someone just for who they are. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Okay. So the next <laughs> comment reads In my experience, this only happens when you surround yourself with the fresh of age party, party, party club goers. When people grow up and you surround yourself with people accordingly, this is no longer an issue. I believe that 100%. You think only the party, the party gays and the, oh, hell yeah. and the WeHo gays are bothered? They're the ones that are criticizing everybody. Everybody who fucking walks into a club, it's like, ooh, no, no. Like, I hate it. it it's just <laughs> so dumb. It's not this and this and that. But <laughs> 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 yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the, the party gays and the WeHo gays are very toxic, um, you know, but it's not... It's not fair to say every party gay is 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 like bo- out here bottom shaming. It's a it's 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 so. It, I, I, there's I think feel I feel like there's a lot of different people that bottom that bottom shame. It's not just like it's not just the party people. I don't, what do you think, Maggie? Oh, in my experience, like in the past when I was with my ex, um, we would go to West Hollywood. Like I sometimes will feel like every time I walk in and they see that I'm with him or. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of the time they're not even like, acknowledging us. But I, for me, like sometimes I just feel like, oh, like they're gonna criticize that I'm with someone who's um, skinny and you know a short twink and everything. And yeah. it's, he, you know, the yeah. short twink is with someone who's big and and you know fat and everything. And it's like to me, like, bec- and it's only because of, like it's my insecurities. Right. I've you know been. Um, I don't know if anybody has listen to the past episode, but it uh-huh. talked about, um, you know, being criticized for the way I look, you know, being told that I should kill myself because I'm too big and too ugly and everything. So because of all that, I just feel very insecure. Yeah. And so it's like when I go to West Hollywood, that's why I feel like, and I, and I shouldn't be feeling that way no matter where I go. Like I should be happy with the way I am. And I know that's a lot to do with, uh-huh. you know, having to, I have to work on myself. Yeah. About, you know, work on my insecurities, mm-hmm. but it's very hard to gain the confidence when you constantly get people telling you these hurtful things. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. And, you, even if, and, and I'm sorry, like, even if you don't, even if you, they don't say anything, but just by the, the way they look at you. Yeah. It's a PTSD. And it's like this person is saying, once you surround yourself with mature gays, like I'm sure th- there's going to be a subset of the community that is very toxic and hypercritical is going to be body shaming people. But um, like we said in the last episode, you can't let those people affect you. You got to just love yourself and surround yeah. yourself with people who love you for you. And you know, those people just fuck them. They can fuck off. <laughs> it's crazy because I met gays who don't like going out to gay clubs and stuff because yeah. of that. And what I always tell them is just just go and have fun. Do it for you. Like listen to the music escape and let everything else disappear. Exactly. Don't let that stop you. Of course. Yes. There, there is a part of the community that is super toxic. Yes. Mm -hmm. But like when you find your chosen people, everything else disappears. It's, you know, just, just ignore those people. So the next comment says it's rooted in misogyny. Being a woman is less than being a man. And if you're a bottom, well, then as you have pointed out, you're seen as feminine. And being feminine or a woman is inferior to being a man. Yeah. That's kind of true. Oh, no, yeah. It's rooted that's, in... 
That's really true. It's rooted in misogyny, whether, you know, the top is bottom shaming the bottom or whether the bottom is bottom shaming the bottom or the bottom is, you know, whatever the fuck it is, it's all rooted in misogyny. And like, because in high school, you know, being gay, you always were told, why do you act like a little girl? Yeah. Yeah. You're acting like a woman. You act too feminine and blah, blah. Yeah. It's it's so crazy. Even girls would say that to me. Really? I'm like, yo, the fuck? You're just, you're you're insulting insulting yourself. (laughs) Yeah. Well, well, um, I never, that's interesting. I don't know. I never thought about it that way. Like, I never pictured it that way. And I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, that's that's crazy because, I mean, I'm not speaking for all men. So I have ice. Um, I feel like men have a problem with, with women. Yeah, well, they just see like femininity as like the weaker sex. The we- it's weak to do that. So when you bottom, that's why that's why they're saying it's rooted in misogyny that like um, you're just seen as the weaker person because you bottom. But like we said, we we think bottoms are powerful, and um, um, that's all we got to say about that. I have a comment here. I'm reading in front of me. Um, so this one comes from that boy bestie. Um, it says, "Listen, everything at this point." Throw the whole community in the trash from fat phobia, racism, um, especially from POC, because everyone seems so focused on the white gaze. But baby, people of color are racist, too. The femme phobia. And don't get me started on how, for some reason, running after straight men or DL men is put on a pedestal and how the community only embraces you if you fit the pretty privileged umbrella. Anyways, throw it away. There's no community. There's a lot to unpack there. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I, f- I I feel like we addressed some of that already in the last episode, but like, I believe that you think the whole community is trash. Half of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what? And, and, and it might be because like we live in California, but I don't know how other states are with like how they treat each other more nicely or whatever. Yeah. But, um, I feel like the LA gays are very toxic. They are. Yeah. And it's a very, you have to fit this muscular white, pretty boy, like. Yeah, but it's all about who you surround you know? yourself with. I volunteered at the Los Angeles LGBT Center and mm-hmm. like there's some educated, hardworking gays that want to give back to the community. And there really is a <laughs> sense of like just community and just welcome, welcoming each other. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you're distracting me. Uh, I'm trying to give a TED talk here. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> and no, yeah, there's, there's, it's not just, it's not like, I don't think it's fair to, to just like have a blanket <laughs> statement like that and, and to say that the whole community is trash. Girl, is you okay over there? <laughs> I'm over here coughing. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> she's like, I'm coughing because I'm over this shit. <laughs> What do, you, what do you think, Mikey? Do you think it's do you think it's fair to, to say the whole community's trash? Yes, yes, we have like transphobia, you know, fem femphobia and racism and all this shit going on in our community. But do you think it's fair to say that the whole community's trash? Um, I get where this person is coming from, but I really don't think this whole community is trash. Like. Oh, I would say more of a recycling bed. Oh, <laughs> oh <wow. laughs> recycling bed. Rinse, recycle, and reduce. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, uh, this community, like, and there's a lot of people who are still trying to understand others as well. Like again, like again, back to about when it comes to me in the beginning when I realized I was, you know, finally accepting who I was, and but be, like I still was trying to learn. And educate myself, right. like you know, like yes, I'm a gay man. Trying to accept myself where I was, but before that, like you know, I used to tell other gay people, like, oh, like you know, you're going to hell and this and this. But that's because I didn't know um, more about it. Mm-hmm. You know, like I was always told, like you know, you're going to go to hell for being gay because I was raised Catholic, and you know, and then even then, like after I fully accepted myself, like when I learned about you know, trans people, drag queens and everything. Like, I was like, I still even thought that it was a wrong thing. Yeah. But yeah. until I started learning more about it, like, that's what I was like, okay, like, um, I know how it feels to be discriminated against, yeah. you know, not just by my sexual orientation, but, you know, the way I look and then also the color of my skin. So why am I going to discriminate other people right. for who they are? Right. And so... 
yes, this uh, this community this community still has a lot to learn. It still has a lot of that needs to be improved. But I don't think the entire community is trash. And you know, like I it was just just there's still people who are still are out there trying to learn and that's why we need to educate them and instead of like i have said before like instead of attacking them educate them yeah and if they're not wanting to and if they're not wanting to learn then fuck them yeah exactly like yeah and um going back to eric like you said this community is trash like you and i we like We've gone to ballroom. We've gone to drag shows, mm. and you, we like are living our fucking gay lives. So it's and we. I guess it depends where and, you're at. I'm saying it depends yeah. on the people you surround yourself with, the events you go to, and it's all about your mindset. If you want to see it as toxic, trust me, you'll find the toxicity. But if you choose to see the positive and the art and the creativity and the love and see that, then you'll see it. If you yeah. want to, it's all about your mindset. And like Mikey said, you have to just stay educated. And I feel like the people who kind of post these kind of comments are. That's their experience. I mean, you don't want to take that away from them. Uh, I'm sure they've been through some fucked up shit and that's why they have that perspective. And, you know, it sucks, but you can't let, you know, like you, like you said in the last episode, you can't let one or a couple situations mm-hmm. like define the whole community. That's true. It's yeah. very true. But, anyways. Yeah. Cause if not, we're not going to, even ourselves, we're not going to be learning from it. And then. Exactly. Um, and just, it become, a, become better. And, you know, we're just going to be stuck. Yeah. And think that the whole world is against us. Like, no, like we don't want thinking the whole world is against us because mm-hmm. not everyone is against us. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of others who have similar situations that we experience and they're like wanting to again like educate other people and teach them like, you know, this is why what you're saying or what you're doing is wrong. Like, you know, but we shouldn't just, you know, we shouldn't just be in a little bubble. Exactly. And I don't think like the LGBT community is above criticism. Like we say shit that's ignorant. We all just have to learn from each other and, and, um, experience things. And if you want to experience things then you're going to experience things. Oh, <laughs> Kendall. <laughs> Anyways, oh, Kendall, yeah. we got to learn from each other. That's the point. Okay. How about this comment? I wish I was a bottom. I'm too much of a wuss to take it. Bitch, don't knock it till you fucking try it. Just do it. Oh, and this was from Moreland145. Moreland, you need to get more dick in your ass. How about that? You need to to explore Rosebud Land. You do. (laughs) I would say um, go with a finger first and then a dick and then fisting if if you're into that kind of stuff. Right, right, right. Uh, This person, um, Scooby underscore Raver, said that uh, bottom shaming is not a problem in the gay community. Um, You Uh that we're just surrounded by jerks and we need to get new friends. Uh, Okay, like (laughs) I saw that. And again, (sighs) just because that person maybe not have experience. I don't know if he's a bottom or top, whatever, you know, just because he just because he might not have experienced it or maybe around his friends, you know, he doesn't see that they experience it doesn't mean that other people don't experience it so or maybe he's just too blind to notice it or maybe he just has three friends and doesn't even go out at all yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> i don't know. You know i mean exactly we don't know but again just be, like just because you don't experience it or people around you maybe i have not experienced it doesn't mean it doesn't happen yeah there's another person <laughs> their name is uh little, 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 blue uh, zero zero. Um, they said bottom shaming in the gay community with a question mark. Hell no, that's everywhere. Real bottoms don't get offended. I mean, in a sense, yeah, but like, it's it's tone and motherfucking delivery. Like, I mean, like you could see, like you could look at the comments. People, some people are agreeing, yeah, bottom shaming is a big problem in the gay community, and then some people are saying, no, it's not. It's just evident that everybody has different experiences, and I don't think it's fair, like Mikey's saying, to just discredit someone's experience and what they're what they're talking about. You know, yeah, what they've experienced. Yeah, because I mean, and let's think about it this way, I um. In high school and everything, when, you know, when I came out, I came out as bisexual because I was trying to, again, like, learn, you know, fi- trying to find a fully accept myself. And I had a lot of friends support me. And when I came out to my family, I had a lot of people support me. But just because in my family and my friends and the people that I was school with didn't attack me for my sexual orientation, I'm not going to take that away from other people who, who experience it differently. Because I see other people who experience a whole lot of 
you know, I've, I've heard stories and everything like, you know, their family kicking them out, you know, getting attacked in school because of their sexual orientation. Am I going to say, you know, like, oh, like people attack gay people, like <laughs> just because I didn't experience it, yeah, doesn't it's mean ignorant. it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. So exactly. So like, just because you haven't experienced it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Yeah. We all have to listen to each other's experiences and not discredit them if we're all going to come together and um, take over the world and, uh, you know, pursue the gay agenda. (laughs) (laughs) And honestly, if none of, like they said, like, you know, oh, bottom shaming in the gay community, hell no, doesn't happen. Okay. Like, obviously we're talking about it because it fucking happens. Exactly. If you're talking about it, it means that fucking happens. (laughs) Exactly. Um, oh, go start it on this person. I'm I know, I'm <laughs> up right now. So this comment comes from L underscore Valentin OX says, I don't know if he's being like, he's joking or he's being for real, but he says, bruh, I hate myself for being a bottom. I even still don't like myself for being gay in therapy though. Oh, that's so sad. That's terrible. If this sad. is like really true, like this is. That's, I mean, we talked about it in the last episode. We all like we were self hating because a lot of society, our parents and just other people made fun of us, bullied us. So you kind of start to hate yourself, uh-huh. you know. So this person's obviously going through some, you know, PTSD and they're working through it and they're learning to love themselves. So um, I hope they, I hope they figure it out. And and um, you know, this community we're talking about all the toxic shit, I'm sure. But it is very loving if you find the right people and um, hopefully they they find the right people and they hope they find themselves too. Yeah. yeah. Don't but, be ashamed to be a bottom. And if this person really, you know, is I'm I'm oh, I'm sure he's being hundred percent truthful. But like this is an example of like bottom shaming does exist because if he's feeling this type of way, mm-hmm. then obviously what people bottom shame it can affect someone the way they think. If he's feeling like, Oh like ah, damn, I wish I wasn't a bottom and on top of that, you know, I wish I wasn't gay mm-hmm. you know, people's words can't hurt. Yeah. Very yeah, true. And, that, and, 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 that's, and this guy is a, you know, an example of that, how people's words can hurt and, and it affects your self image and your self perception of yourself. And I think that's what people need sometimes is just like yeah. fucking ignore what everybody else says. Girl. You just got to lean in. You got to lean into lean into the gayness. Fucking lean in. <laughs> One, two, three fingers, girl. Go for it. You know, have fun. Yeah. Take eight inches. Take 10. Yes. Start off with four and then work your way up to 10. 12. And then you can go and buy the King Kong. Yeah. Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> and work your way up to fisting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's, I have a comment here. It's by um, someone named Roz B. She said, this straight female just got educated on bottom shaming. Not cool. You do you and be happy. Look at us. We're, we're, we're educating, educating people. The straight, the straight women. I love it. I love like even educating your mom sometimes or giving yeah. her like gay terms. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, oh my God, I didn't know that. It's, yeah. It's like you see their eyes and they're so like, oh my God, I didn't know. Like they're yeah. so, they're so like amazed. Yeah. That there's I love there's that. this whole other hole out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm still learning too. Again, like yeah, I, when same. we say that the heads up game, there were some terms that I didn't even know. I was like, yeah, damn, I'm get the my same. <laughs> yeah, even like reading these comments, like people are, you know, agreeing with us. Some people are disagreeing. I'm like, oh, it's opening like a new perspective, and um, I like that. It, it opens my mind up. I'm like, oh, I didn't think of it that way. How about this comment? This comment comes from it's Robbie Robinson. That's a cute name. Um, he says, "Gay men shame because they haven't healed their trauma." Gay men have been shamed. They are mirroring what's happened to themselves. That is so fucking true. Yeah. They're perpetuating what they've been told about being gay. They're saying it to other gays. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's like, I don't know if you heard this, but like, you know, when like in school, um, when they talk about kids bullying other kids, their lives as well. Yeah. They're, 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 it's a reflection of what's going on at home. Exactly, you know. And, so, you know, I believe it. We I, in this case is a reflection of what they've been uh, experiencing throughout either the gay community or people, uh, you know, outside the gay community and like homophobic people attacking them for being gay and stuff like that. Yeah. Because if you really know how it feels like to be discriminated against, be attacked for being who you are, why are you going to do the same shit to someone else just yeah. to make yourself feel better? Like, no. 
it, you're, it, you're not getting anything from this. Yep. And that's crazy that you're talking about that because there is an, this other comment that I want to read to you guys because I think this is, I don't know, you read it to me. Maybe I'm being confrontational. But it comes from James Barfield, 253. He says, nah, y'all got it wrong. I'm a bottom, but not feminine. Y'all feminine in general. Oh, that's so funny because like, okay, so James Barfield, 253, he said that eh, I'm a bottom, but not feminine. Y'all feminine in general. So he's saying that he's a bottom, but he's not feminine. And then there's another comment by someone named Kantisha Labeja. Love your name, sis. <laughs> um, work. Um, they said... They said bottoming is feminine, though. What's wrong with being feminine? It just is what it is. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you have these people, they're contradicting each other. This person's saying, we got it wrong, that he's a bottom, but he's not feminine. And then the other person's saying, oh, bottoming is feminine. So it's like, they're contradicting each other. That's what I'm saying. I don't even care. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm throw, just throw it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> throw the all. At this point, who the fuck cares? If you're feminine, you're feminine. If you're masculine, you're masculine. Who cares? Exactly. Like, you're still taking dick. <laughs> throw, throw all the terms away. Bottoming is not mask or femme. Throw them all away. It doesn't matter. Like, fuck it. Take yeah. your dick. Enjoy the dick. And that's it. Also, can you guys, if you guys do start to comment on the video, can you tell me how feminine I look today? Thank you. Yeah, she's been serving cunt today. <laughs> You just fix that wig. Yeah. Oh, that dry ass wig, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is like, I can't see it. I can't see it, but it's dry. <laughs> I can hear the split in. Oh, oh. <laughs> she said that wig busted, bitch. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, this person's uh, Mickey Moore. They said, as a trans girl, oh, shout out to the trans girls. Hi. Yes. Um, as a trans girl who always bottoms, I like to shame the tops for wanting to bottom. Ooh. Oh my god, that's that's not right. What kind of, Go ahead. I'm sorry, but what kind of it's kind of setting me? It's like when she's saying this, it's kind of like she's proud of it. Yeah, she sounds like she's proud of it. That like she wants, she wants someone. She wants a strict top. She doesn't want a top who bottoms because I feel like in her point of view, she sees that as mm -hmm. feminine, and she's like, oh, I want to date, you know. But what if she does it like in a kinky way? Like she's like, "Oh, you're such a little bitch." Well, I mean, I that's another thing. Like, I feel like maybe she's doing it in a way in a kinky way. We can probably see it that way because I know there's oh, people who true. have small, who have small penises but love being called out on their small penis, and it's like Ooh, a kinky. Okay, way. there you go. There you go. I love that you brought that up. Yeah, we. It's a, it could be a kink that she likes to shame the tops from mm -hmm. the bottom. You're not a fucking real man, and the tops like, "Oh, he's coming." <laughs> I know, yeah. He's like, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me how much I'm not a man. <laughs> Maybe she's a dominatrix. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know her story. But um, I don't know. Yeah, we can read this anyway. But there's another comment in response to her by Oz Ro Romanovsky that says, sword fighting is super fun. Docking is hot. But is that considered a bottom move? I don't know what any of those words mean. What the fuck is docking? I don't know. Mikey, do you know what docking is? Hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Yeah. Okay. I was about to ask you. Can you Live Google that share? Google it. <laughs> How do you spell? You said docking? Yeah, docking, like docking a boat. Yeah. Um, docking. Sword fighting is fun, but I like docking. Do they said sword fighting is super fun. We know what that is. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Oh, should we say what sword fighting is for the people who don't know? If you don't know what sword fighting is, it's Star Wars, but with your dick. Hey, there you go. Star oh, <laughs> a good and a fierce metaphor. <laughs> you better work, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'm try oh, I was trying to think of a pun. I couldn't think of one that fast. Okay, what's the definition for docking? Because <laughs> I need to know these terms. Docking. Oh, so uh, docking is, um, when it, um, so it's a very intimate and intense sexual act performed by two uncircumcised men one pulls his foreskin back and holds it while another guy stretches his open and outward oh i've off. seen that before i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh I didn't know that, was that the makes term. sense but i don't think that will feel good no that looks like, like it I hurts like, i don't know i feel like ooh, ooh. I don't think that'll feel some good. people like the pain okay work yeah there you go see mikey's educating I mean, us don't king shame i know but like yeah I mean, <laughs> Honey, do you hide your candy in there when you go to the movies? What? Because it's like, how does the other one fit in the other one? Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but guess what? That ain't our business. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, congratulations if you can dock. Good for them. Don't dock it till you try it. Okay. I think, is that all the comments you want to read? That is all the comments. Oh, okay. Um, oh my God. <laughs> my favorite one. I'm so sorry. There's so many good ones. Someone said, is this what tops have told you? 
Or did you learn this from your gender studies TA? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't take gender studies. I I'm don't a, either. I'm I wish I would have, though. I'm a film and marketing ma major. Like, what? Didn't you, uh, Mikey, didn't you take a couple of, like, classes? Of like the I I, so I've taken human sexuality and then I'm also taking right now I'm currently taking um, philosophy in the LGBTQ plus community. Oh, Ooh, that's that's fun. That's just this comment is just so ignorant. I just feel it's like it's like what conservatives say to like liberals and gay people. Like oh, they're they're just quoting what their gender studies professor has teach is teaching them. It's like no, like I'm gay and this is my experience. It's not I didn't learn it from a gender studies TA. Yeah. No, and it's also we learned it from like other people's experience. Yeah, so, again, by talking to the community and like being an active member of society <laughs> and paying attention, <laughs> and bitch. Paying attention. <laughs> Bottoming is neither mask or femme. Um, just enjoy the dick. Stop putting labels on it. Like, just yeah, enjoy it. I hate labels. Um, don't shame someone for wanting to take dick. Um, yeah, that's my final thought. Do you have any final thoughts, Michael? Mikael. Um, <laughs> Mikael. Um, <laughs> my thing is like, if you already know how it feels to be attacked for who you are, mm -hmm. just don't do it to other people because you don't know what uh, harm you can cause to them. That's you know, true. like uh, you got someone wanting that's in therapy. Like I'm in therapy too because I, you know, of all the stuff that. I've experienced uh -huh. and part of it is because of what people have told me and I'm trying to learn how to love myself and, you know, be proud of who I am. Mm -hmm. And, and that's going to take, and that's, I know that's not going to happen in an instant, but that's going to take some time, but you know, just don't, I mean, it'll make things easier for them to love themselves. If you don't attack them for who they are, yeah. whether they're feminine bottom, who cares? Like, you know, just, Stop attacking someone just for who they are. Like, I mean, if mm -hmm. you're doing that, you're not going to gain anything from it. You're just a bully yourself. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Yep. Alrighty. Well, Mikey, thank you so much for coming on and giving us your time in your car. <laughs> I hope um, your blanket is very warm tonight. <laughs> yes. And I hope that you, um, you know, since you're already out, maybe um, go, um, go cruise a little bit. <laughs> go cruise before you're <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of tired. Oh. So, yeah, I don't have energy for that shit. <laughs> My mouth is tired. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, thank you guys for having me again, and hope, I'm looking forward to these comments and what some people are gonna say. Yeah, yes. And continuing the conversation, we're having another another conversation about the conversation, we're and then we're gonna have a conversation about the conversation about the comments and the conversation. There you go. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Kelly. <laughs> bye. And bye. Chicken.